That's the last of the wood under the catio. So I guess it's a good thing we straightened this out and made a clear path to this pile here. Because that's where I'll be getting the rest of the wood for the remainder of the winter. Had a slight dusting of snow last night. But it's really windy out here, so let's get inside. It is cold enough out there today. There is a major wind chill. Not really feeling like being outside today. So there's a couple projects that I would like to get done. First of all, let's talk about the elephant in the room. And when I say the elephant in the room, I'm really talking about this. I'm talking about this backsplash. Probably a year ago, maybe two years ago, I replaced the other black splash black splash backsplash with this stuff from Amazon is just your regular peel and stick comes in four squares um, yeah lately it's been bad enough that it's starting to peel off the wall and I can literally just pull these squares right off of the sheets so I think it's time to go this is the backsplash that I had before and it actually stayed on the wall better. I just found it kind of dark for this space. So once I painted and did a couple renovations, uh, renovations, <laughs> I just wanted to brighten up the space a little bit. So I ordered these off Amazon, but sometimes you get what you pay for. They were kind of cheap and well, now we see why. This time around, I went ahead and bought one of these. It is nine feet, I think, of this. So I should be able to do this little space in here several times if need be, but it's 18 inches high, so that should take you to the top of the range hood, which is fine by me. And yeah, it was like, I think $42 at the hardware store, which believe it or not is much cheaper than buying three sets of these that come in four squares. That is how many I would need to do this little space in here. And at the hardware store, four squares of these, or one similar to these, but probably better quality, are about $33 a piece for a set of four. So you're looking at close to $100 to do a little space like this. So we went for the cheaper option. Um, this is, like I said, nine feet of this. So yeah, I'm going to get to cutting and hopefully it's going to work for this space here. But first things first. These have got to come off of here. Trying to take minimal paint off the walls that I can. Whoops, with removing these. Honestly, with peel and stick though, I feel like you're always going to have this problem. It's such a small little space here and from all the heat from your oven and cooking, like, it's probably just a matter of time before you're going to get lifting of these tiles. And I'm by no means fancy, but I'm fancy enough that I can't stand having the backsplash look like this any longer. All right, we got all the old stuff removed with minimal paint pulled off the wall, I would hope. <laughs> You can definitely, I don't know if you can see this, but you see the difference from where the stick tiles were to the wall? That's just dirt. I'm going to try to clean that up a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I think without backsplash, it just looks kind of bare. And also with the backsplash, it just makes it so much easier for cleaning the walls. You know, when you're cooking and you get sloppy mess all over the place, having some type of backsplash there does make it a lot easier for cleaning. Hmm. 23 and a half.
ink on this side. Now you should be able to get that off. What the hell? One side. Oh man. This is harder than I thought it was going to be. Just throwing that out there. <sighs> it's kind of stressful. I'm not wanting to line up the best. How's it looking? I feel like I can see every little bump because this is so thin. All right, well, this is what we got for the one side. Um, I feel like I can already tell it's not going to last long. It is very thin and it peels very easily. So, yeah, not really sure, but all we can do is try, and I think what I'm actually going to have to do is maybe try to track down an X-Acto knife. Hang on. I know it's hard to see here, but um, I just want to kind of trim along this edge right here, but yeah, it looks okay. I just don't know how well it's going to hold up. Well, I trimmed up this edge as best as I could, but I'm pretty certain from what I've been noticing so far, this is just going to be another temporary solution back splash. Yeah, we'll see. This side here, I'm definitely going to have to shorten it because the range hood um, goes to here. this is going to be worse because I need to line it up in three different places. Let me just move that. So I got to line it up with the side, the top, and the bottom. And there's only so much room to work with. Oh geez. All right, you guys, well, it's finished. And if you're wondering why there's a little gap here, it's because there's like a little ridge that goes in the corner of, um, I think all the walls in the camper really. <laughs> Couldn't really go over that. It's not a big deal to me from afar. You can hardly notice it, but I don't know. I have my doubts about this stuff. It's very, very thin and it's really easy to peel off. So not sure how it's how long it's going to last but I'll keep you guys updated should also read the instructions because now I'm seeing that it says a stove without backing needs 15 inches of space or more above range to avoid exposure of product to heat do not expose to heat that exceeds 130 degrees Fahrenheit there certainly isn't 15 inches of space in the best of places in this camper, so that'll be interesting. Ramsey, I have another project and it has to do with the apparatus behind you. You want to help me? Hmm. Ramsey, sure you don't want to help with this next project? Okay.
Okay, project number two of the day. Um, for a very long time, you guys have been telling me, and thank you for telling me because I wouldn't have known otherwise, um, the air intake to this diesel heater, I need to try to get this inside because right now when I'm firing it on, it is taking really cold air and trying to turn it to hot air, which is working the machine harder than it needs to. So I think what I'm going to do is crawl under here uh, remove this and I believe this cord can be made longer. I'm hoping it can. Not cord, tubing. I'm hoping I can stretch it out so that I can just cut a little hole through my plywood here and have this part on the inside. Now for the real question, does this stretch? Some, it stretches some. Will it stretch far enough to go into the window where I want it to go? That I don't know. Okay, I think I can make it work. I uh, just kind of lined it up to see if it would. And it seemed like it just barely would reach, but I don't have this unit mounted to these boards here. And the boards also aren't screwed down onto this little housing I built. So if I needed to, I've got plenty of space here. I can raise this up by adding another board or two underneath to give me a couple of extra inches to reach the plywood there. So that's an option. There's my, there's my helper. There's my helper being so helpful, grooming himself, doing whatever he's doing. Okay, so I got the right size hole cutter. I think I'm going to want this intake about right here. I can't go too high with it because I don't know if that tubing is going to reach. So it's got to be high enough to be off of the cat tree here. Uh, I think I'm going to go about here with it. Okay. There we go. Boop. Make sure. Yeah, thereabouts. It is not touching the cat tree. Let's go see if that's going to work outside. Damn it. I knew it was probably a better idea to cut that hole from out here. Got a little bit of rip, but that's okay. You're not going to see it anyway. This isn't looking too great for length right now, but uh, see what I can do. Okay, so I've stretched this out to its max capacity, got it hooked up underneath, and I'm starting to realize that even putting a couple extra boards, maybe some thicker boards under here, still not going to reach far enough to the air intake there. So I think I'm actually going to have to find a longer piece of this. Hoping I can find that at a hardware store. Um, yeah, it's just not long enough. I've tried. Well, that sucks. Now knowing that I'm just going to end up getting a longer one of these, um, if I could do it over, I probably would have put this air intake up higher on this piece of plywood because now I'm just sitting directly above the litter box, with <laughs> uh, which is a little weird to think that the fumes goes in here and comes out here. Anyway, the struggle is real with small spaces, you guys. I already made a hole there in the plywood, so I guess I'm just going to leave this here and hope this is a really good filter. So, Rory, how about you just don't have any stinky poops? So we don't want fumes coming, recirculating. No, we don't want that. Okay? Okay, thanks. I mean, I guess I could always move the cat tree over against there and then move the litter box over here. But then the heat source is kind of coming down right on top. Oh, Jesus. We have an escape artist. Rory! The trick with him is to just nicely say his name. Because if you act like you're mad when he escapes, he runs. 
It's my fault, Rory. I didn't have the door closed. Let's get some light in here. No? There we go. It's a good thing they love running inside of this tent shed. They just get really curious about it because now it's really easy to get him and bring him back inside. <laughs> Rory, since you're in here, how about you hunt down Mr. Squirrel and, uh, yeah, then we won't have any more chewed up scooter covers. Back inside you go. Sorry. You're a prisoner once again. It keeps getting colder, but that wind chill is something else. Wow. When it's cold like this, you pile up as much wood as you can fit in the cradle because you don't want to be going back and forth with wood in this cold. Well, it is several days later, and what you didn't see behind the scenes was um, I tried to stretch this out a little bit longer, and it broke. I mean, I suppose it is just a cheap thin piece of cardboard with you know some tin foily looking stuff inside and some thin plasticky tape on the outside but I really wasn't trying to stretch it apart too too hard at all I didn't think but yeah now I've got a whole new predicament I have had zero luck trying to find one of those um, at any of the hardware stores or the automotive stores in the small town that's closest to where I live anyway so I know you can order them on Amazon and you can order them longer, which I think I'm going to do, but unfortunately it being so close to Christmas, I don't think it's actually going to arrive till sometime in January. However, I am going to try to jerry-rig something um, for the meantime. Well, this is what I woke up to. I guess this backsplash really isn't going to work out. <laughs>